So, what is mono behavior? Here we have a top down player script which inherits from mono behavior. And mono behavior is a member of the Unity engine namespace. If you don't know what inheritance in programming languages means, here's an example for you. We have a class called Animal, which is the best class, and another class called Dog, which is inheriting from the Animal class. As you can see here, we have access to the name, the age, and the walk method without them being directly in the Dog class. This allows us to create different animals and use common variables and methods without rewriting them every time. Same thing with mono behavior. It is a base class that provides bunch of methods, properties, and more that were made by Unity. The start and the update methods are inherited from the mono behavior class, and there are more. Can you tell what are the things in this code that were inherited from the mono behavior? Well, basically, besides the start and the update methods, there's the transform.position. But what about the character controller? Wasn't it made by Unity? Well, yes, but it comes directly from the Unity engine namespace, not the mono behavior. Same thing goes to the random.range, vector3, and the input.get access row. They all come directly from the Unity engine namespace. Mono behavior is a game object related. You cannot attach a script to a game object if the script is not inherited from the mono behavior. Try it yourself, and you will get this error. This is why transform.position is in the mono behavior class, because transform is a game object related. So, when can we give it up? In some cases, like this script right here, we don't need to attach it to a game object. We can access all these static variables from any other class as long as the class is inheriting from the player data script, because these variables are protected. For the toString method, it can be accessed from any class and it doesn't need to be inherited from the player data class because it's public. This script is not using mono behavior, nor the Unity engine namespace either. That's all.